So here's the underneath of the singer. I've already taken the plate off and it looks fairly clean in here. Um, I've already kind of brushed it out and vacuumed out anything, you know, I could, I could see. And there are a couple of sets of gears here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of the, um, this clear, um, synthetic grease and just put some on the gear. Let that run through there. Make sure that that gear has grease on it and you'll get some icky stuff, you know, on the brush. That's, that is fine. And then this one as well. Put some grease on this one. And then when you roll it back and forth, it gets on the other one as well. You don't have to put a ton. Get a paper towel. Clean my brush off. And now I'm just gonna take the oil <clears throat> in the little dropper. And I'm gonna move this around like this. There's a piece of fuzz or something right there. And where it moves, I'm gonna put a drop of oil in the joints. Everything that I can, you know, I can reach because there's little bearings in here. I believe there is a couple of schematics online about how to oil up these particular machines. So I highly suggest looking those up for sure because I am not a professional. <laughs> I'm just a do-it-yourselfer. Okay, so I'm going to set this up and hopefully you'll be able to see this fairly well. This was also vacuumed. I'm going to take some grease. There is an oil port right there, a little hole. So that goes there. I'm going to put some down in this shaft right there. There's also a oil, an oil port back there. You just want everything moving freely. Keep in mind that wherever metal touches metal, that's, that's going to be a, a key to where you need to put oil. Now this is a cam stack. If you see um, this stack, I don't, know if it, I don't know if it shows up real well, this stack of gears right here. These are called cams and these are what allow the machine to run different stitches. This is how they used to, this is how they used to do that. So I'm just going to paint some of this grease lubricant um, on these cams to make sure that as they rotate and they um, engage that they will stay lubricated on the outside. But there is a gear where this red knob is right here. If you follow it straight back, 
underneath where the red gear is attached, there is there is a gear underneath there. And you can, I doubt I'd be able to get it on camera, but I also put the thicker lubricant on, on that as well. And then there is a gear right here. And the gears are the ones, you know, with teeth. They're kind of like a cog. Those are the two main gears there. And then there's a gear behind the crank wheel. And I'm just gonna run some lubricant on this gear. This is what runs the motor. I'm gonna put a little drop of oil because down here the, the bobbin uh, assembly, they spin against each other. I wanna make sure that's nice and free in there. So I think everything sounds pretty good. So that being said, I am going to, ah, I'm gonna plug it in. I have, this is the first time. I have not tested this beforehand. Um, this is the first time it's getting plugged in and tried out. So those of you that are scared, <laughs> it's time to look away. Well, the light turns on. That's, that's a good sign. <laughs> of course. Sounds pretty good, huh? Nice. Okay, well, success on this one. So this is the little Kenmore that um, I just got, and it was um, a really good deal. <laughs> and it looks like it just came out new out of the box, almost. I mean, it's, the only thing on it is this little, if you can see this little scratch up here, um, I think that was done in storage because if you look at like the bed here, there's like no nothing. It's just, it's like almost in perfect condition. So um, I have already oiled this one up, but let me let you listen to how smooth this machine sounds. Is that not like the smoothest thing? It's got reverse. I mean, it's just like, like it's brand new out of the box. Just absolutely strong and anyway, I'm super happy with, with this particular one. This is a keeper for sure.